I am trying to give you some gothic realness. Mm. Are you feeling the gothicness? Black wig, black lip, black eye, black dress, black contour. So this week's topic is most embarrassing moments. Um, this was about two years ago, a year and a half, two and a half, I have no idea when it was. Anyway, but I thought it'd be so cute to do a uh, commander, like Kelly Rowland, and I decided thigh high boots were the way to go, and thigh heights are the way to go, but this, if you could see, big hill is a platform and a big hill. So it's like seven inches, eight inches. It's a pretty big hill and that platform is no joke. Well, um, I don't know what made me think I could dance in platform thigh highs, but I figured I should try. So, as soon as I walk up to do my number, I stumble. No good. And I thought, okay, well that's out of the way. I could go do get my number done and whatever that little embarrassing moment's over. Nope. Um I went to go take a tip and I fell. And I was so embarrassed. Duh. <laughs> I fell and I was like, oh shit. So I get up and like haha whatever and I walk over to one of my friends who was also there performing and I point at my boots for her like you take these off of me now so I put one leg up and BAM I fell on my ass and knocked my head on the stage like I fell back my head hit the stage my wig fell off like it just came right off um but I was still lip syncing when I was on the ground like BAM hit my head on here and I'm just you know lip syncing my little heart out while my drag sister is taking off my boot and I get up and my wig is caught on my necklace so it's hanging on the back of me. So I just grab it and rip it and throw it. And my boots are off. There are two things you can do in that situation. One, run off and be embarrassed. Two, finish your damn number. So I decided to finish my number. I finished my number without my shoes on, those boots, without a wig. But um, I decided, you know what? I'm going to do a cartwheel and I was um, practicing cartwheels like the whole month before just because I figured I needed to do something like if I ever needed to do a cartwheel for some reason which is funny because I was never able to do a cartwheel when I was a kid or ever except for that small time period um, so yeah I did a cartwheel and that that I landed it. I did it pretty good and I finished my number and I go backstage. I was so mad I wanted to hit something and then my one of my drag sisters came back. She's like, are you okay? And as soon as she said that I started bawling my eyes out. Oh, I was so fucking embarrassed and I was just crying. I'm like, oh my god. I'm so stupid. Oh. <laughs> and so I was crying and then like moments later I was laughing. I'm like, I can't believe I fell. I had a whole rush of emotions after I finished my number. I was angry. I was crying. I was laughing. It was stupid. So stupid. <laughs> I hope you like this look. Um, it's feeling very dark and gothic because I heard some Marilyn Manson songs that leaked on YouTube. I was feeling very inspired, like instantly. I'm like, I want to do all black makeup, you know, except for a little blush and the highlight on my eye.
which, you know, I thought it was a iridescent white, but over black it gives off this nice blue-green sheen, and that's pretty cool. Um, I was trying to do something of, along the lines of uh, Tim Curry in Rocky Horror Picture Show, but um, yeah, it kind of looks like Nina Flowers or like um, a little like Sharon Needles, but not really. I wouldn't say so. Like the shape reminds me of the Sharon Needle, like black eye that you color contacts just because Marilyn Manson only has like the white out and the red. So I have a blue and a pink. <laughs> oh, yeah. all right, everyone. Um, before I say goodbye, I want you to do a few things. I want you to go on Twitter and I want you to tweet at RuPaul's Drag Race, hashtag Drag Race, Sherry Needles should win. I love Sherry Needles. Um, I think it's great that someone way out of the box came on the show and that she's gotten to top three. I really think she should win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, tweet for Sherry Needles. Uh, second thing, um, as you know, there are, if you don't know, it, um, there is viewer voting for next season, and you should totally vote for Penny Tration. She is, uh, Mystique's friend, boss, and, yeah, vote for her. Um, what else? Like our Facebook like our Facebook. Um, I know Chloe is needing a suggestion for next time she chooses a topic, so let her know on our Facebook page what you might want us to discuss. Um, my other links are below. So this is Haiti Bidreau, and I will see you next Friday. Oh, crap!